So I have this Nespresso coffee machine at home and it uses these capsules or pods to make coffee. And these are super convenient. I just don't have a good way of storing them. So in today's video, I'm gonna use this piece of oak to make a little holder for them. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Let's get started. So even though there's a lot of different holders for these things out there, I still wanna make my own. But what most of the holders that you can buy have in common is the way they hold these pods. And that is by grabbing onto this little lip here. So that's what we're gonna do as well. So using a pair of calipers, we'll figure out how big of a hole we need for this entire capsule to fit through and how wide of a slot we need for these things to fit through. And since this board is quite a bit too thick, we'll start by cutting it down to a couple of thinner slices. Whoop. And with that, one thick piece is now three thinner pieces. I'm not gonna use one of the thin ones, that was just to get the finished piece a little bit thinner. It's now time to figure out the layout for the slots I'm gonna cut in this. And the difference in size of those two slots is what's gonna keep the pods from falling out once I put them in the hole and slide them down the slot. I'll draw it up and I'm sure that's gonna make more sense in a second. I've measured and marked and I've figured out how I want to cut this piece. I've marked all the areas where I'm going to remove material so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. So you can see there will be two slots, one here and one here for two different types of coffee. And since these come in packs of 10, I've made a slot long enough to fit 10 of these capsules. So the idea is that on the top here, the hole is big enough to fit the whole capsule and then the slot is narrow enough to fit only the body of the capsule. So I'll drill out those holes, cut the slots and then also round over the corners. Perfect. So I'm essentially done with the front piece here. I cut out the holes with the hole saw and then I actually cut out the slots with a track saw. Because with the track saw, it's actually surprisingly easy to make really straight and precise cuts. So now that this front piece is done, I've marked the hole locations up on this back piece. And I'm now gonna use a router that is set to just the right thickness for the lip of these pods. And then I'm gonna router out all the material that I don't need.
So those two pockets are routed and good to go. It's definitely not pretty, but that's the beauty of it. It doesn't need to be pretty because this thing will cover it up. And now it's the first time that we can have a quick test to see whether or not this works. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. That's very promising. Okay, I'm just gonna give the inside of this thing a little chamfer and then we'll glue them together. Okay, so the glue on this thing is finally dry. The piece that we glued on here needs a little bit of trimming off around the edges. The whole thing needs a little bit of sanding and a chamfer around the edge. And then to finish everything off, we're gonna give it a nice coat of oil. Okay, so this project is done. I'm super happy with the way this turned out. I let the oil dry overnight and then I attached it with some double-sided tape. That way I didn't need to screw it into the window frame here. <laughs> I think it turned out really nice and it does exactly what I need to do. It holds these pods in a really nice way. So this was a fun little project and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified every time I post something new. As for now, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.